everybody, Casey here. And welcome to another episode of Home Cooking. First, I wanna just say this. I wanna thank every one of my subscribers for supporting me throughout this journey. This has been an exciting ride. This is a dream for me to have the opportunity to share the way I cook, my recipes, and the love I have for sitting around the table with my family and seeing them enjoy the food. So again, thank you. We are currently 270 home cooking family subscribers strong. And I look forward to next year and our continued growth. Now, I promised you a holiday turkey, but it gets even better. I am gonna give you a turkey beyond any turkey that you've ever had before. It's gonna be moist. It's gonna be tender. It's gonna be flavorful and delicious. And most of all, it's gonna be easy as pie. If you wanna know how I do it, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up below. Okay, we have our turkey giblets in a bowl off to the side. And I'm gonna talk about the giblets and their place in the grand scheme of things in a minute. You got butter, salt, Lowry season salt, pepper, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, paprika. Oh, and don't forget your Adolf's meat tenderizer for a little bit of a brine. I didn't show it here, but you know that's always a mainstay. Our veggie trinity of onion, bell pepper, celery, and a fresh sprig of rosemary. Some flour, bacon fat, and the star of the show, a beautiful 14 pound clean dried turkey. I want to point out a few things about the cleaning and prep of the turkey prior to the seasoning and the giblets we saw earlier. If you did not know what giblets are and where to find them, here's the 411. Giblets are the bird's internal organs, like the liver, the heart, the gizzard. The neck of the bird is also part of this package. When you take your turkey out of its wrapping, check the cavity of the bird, and that is where these things are housed. You gotta remember that this bird has two ends, the inner cavity and then the neck portion, which is the second floor of this birdhouse. You wanna check that because sometimes they will have giblets in the neck area in a bag and if you don't get those out and you get to cooking that bird, that's not gonna be pretty. Once these areas are vacated, I clean off my giblets, put them in a pot with my trinity, some rosemary, a little bit of seasonings, butter, and I cook them down until a stock emits from the meat. And I use that stock to flavor my gravy. And that's another video. Okay, back to the turkey. Turkeys have feathers. Feathers have quills. So you wanna feel all over the skin of your turkey to ensure all the quills are removed. Cause nobody wanna eat that. Also, check your wings for hairs and burn them off. There may also be a little yellow piece of skin on the bottom of the leg bone that needs scraping off. And I always purchase turkeys with pop-up timers because it makes life easier for me and I'm all about the easier life. Now the bird is clean, let's get to the seasoning part. Let your butter soften to room temperature. I've taken the seasonings you saw earlier and combined them together in this little shaker that I keep. Take half of the seasoning and mix it into your softened butter. And that's gonna look like this. Once it looks like it's all combined, take some of that seasoned butter, and what I usually do is cover my hand with a glove because I don't want that butter getting up underneath my nails and slather it on the inside, all around the cavity of that bird, the top, the sides, the bottom. Then, you're gonna take a little bit more, and that skin that I loosened above the breast, you're gonna go all in there. You're gonna massage that breast all underneath that skin, get all that butter underneath there. That's gonna make it perfect. 
You're gonna use the remainder of the butter mixture along with a little dollop of the bacon fat in your hand or the oil of your choice. And then cover the outer skin of the turkey. And then you're gonna grab that lovely veggie trinity and stuff it into the cavity of the bird. Then you're gonna tie the legs up, fold back the wings, and the fun part is gonna begin now. Take the other half of that seasoning and make it rain all over that turkey. You wanna cover that turkey completely. Now, here comes a really, really intricate part of the moistness of this turkey. Reynolds oven bag. You want to get the bags according to the pounds of your turkey, and it's on the box. This is a game changer. I'm telling you, once you get this bag, it's going to ensure that your turkey is going to be moist and tender. So, take the bag, take that tablespoonful of flour we saw earlier, and I put it in the bag and I shake it up. Now, the directions tell you to do this, and the reason why you have to do it is that bag will burst in the oven if you don't. They say you can also spray it with some cooking spray. I've never had to do that because my bird never stuck. I'll take my bird, I lower it in. Then you want to close your bird up and they have a tie that you put on the end to close it up. And it's going to look like what you see here. Another important step is to poke six little slits near the tie area of this bag. Get the bird in the bag inside the pan, or in my case, I have a foil roasting pan. It needs to be at least about two inches deep. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and that's it. The instructions that are in the box of the Reynolds bag have a chart that tells you, according to the weight of your bird, how long to cook it. Follow the instructions of the bag. Once you get all that done, your bird is ready, it's gonna come out, it's gonna look just like this. Now tell me that ain't cute. Let's cut this bird and see if it really is moist. Look at that juice coming out of the breast meat. Don't pay any mind to how it looks hacked up. I'm giving my younger son the opportunity to try to learn how to carve, so it looks kind of Jason-like. But let's taste it. Here goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness this is a moist turkey i told you this is foolproof you will not fail in having a moist turkey using these bags i don't know if this turkey is going to make it to my holiday table i may have to make another one i want to thank you guys for looking at this way of making a turkey and if this has been as fun for you as it has for me I want you to click that like button. Remember to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm coming at you with a new recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. Love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. Have a happy holiday. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.